Good morning from the second day of New Zealand's lockdown and welcome to the COVID Diaries. Hi guys, Kia ora, it's Rasinga Rice here and I am just sitting in bed doing the first thing of my second COVID day, which is to actually start writing. I woke up having this insane need to get back to Keepers of a Corridor. For those of you who do not know what Keepers of a Corridor is, it is my magnum opus. It is a book series I am hoping to get published. Put simply, think Game of Thrones meets Spyro. Dragons living in complex societies and then flipping back to a human society, trying to uncover their secrets. It's heavily inspired by human history, so that is why I have a couple of human history documentaries up on my uh, YouTube while I'm editing this story. I'm going back through old chapters and rewriting them. You can actually read the second edit on Inkit because I am not going to be uploading the brand new edits to Inca anytime soon unless it gets to something like 3,000 reads. It's already at 1,300, which is insane to think about, but hopefully we can continue to get it to grow and if it gets to that then yes I will start putting the newest edits up and hopefully looking at getting it published. I really do like human history. I never used to, but since getting into it myself, I find it really fascinating and there's been a lot of inspiration for characters from KOE because of human history and certain leaders and certain cultures and stuff like that. So right now I'm just working on chapter 3B, which is technically chapter 4, but I'm splitting chapters up on Inkit so that it works with the algorithm rather than Selfie trying stuff. to keep... So yes, that is what I will be doing this morning, and my grandpa is currently outside water blasting, if you guys can hear that, so I won't be going outside for a walk for a while, but I do plan on going for a little while once I get to art, but my goal is to try and get at least four chapters done today, and then work on art maybe in the evening, do the research and everything that I'll need to do for them, because I always research my artwork. I find it extremely important to get aspects of my artwork correct, even though my style is cartooning. For example, for the Sonic commission I am doing, I really like Black Knight, even though, you know, like the gameplay's not the best. The story is very interesting. Arthurian legends, oh, that's where I started when it came to human history and the fascination with that, and how Arthur's changed throughout history in terms of what he represents. Even the Tudors had a fascination with Arthur because um, Henry the Seventh, the Winter King, the usurper. Yes, I'm sorry, but... I personally think he did a serp Richard III. I don't think Richard was as evil as people came across to make him out to be. He did what he had to do in a, you know, a medieval society and everybody turns a blind eye to the other stuff that kings have done, but anyway, we won't go there. A good king doesn't have to be a good person. Funnily enough, that's explored in Keepers of a Corridor because I really like that idea. You have to be quite ruthless to rule because there's always people, you know, hanging around that want to take your crown and do stuff. But looking at the designs for Black Knight, it did a really good so job cool. with the armor. I can do a bit with Revali, you know, like with the way that he uses his bow in the air because this character's got wings because he's a bat. So that makes it a lot easier. But I want to find some really dynamic, awesome archery poses to transpose into my style and then add the sonic elements on top while also doing research on the type of armor since we were looking at Legolas from uh, Lord of the Rings as an inspiration for the armor and the archer gear. So it's going to be really fun to do. I just want to get the research right. I want to find out what kind of armor medieval archers actually wore. And I'm not talking your typical farmers either. I'm talking like the best of the best, the assassins, the proper archers who protected the king. What they basically wore compared to knights and get the weight into the movement and the clothes and everything as well when I get cracking on it, which is why you guys are probably just going to see a basic sketch when it's done because this is going to take a while, but that's what makes it fun to me, you know, being able to create something based on something else and then adding elements and just bringing a little bit of my own magic to things. So I will be working on that today, but right now I need to get back to KOE. I think I'll make myself a coffee because my voice is going. Not surprised with that wind yesterday. And it's now mandatory to wear masks, so good thing I've got one, but I might have to buy some more. Anyway, I'm gonna get cracking on this, and I'll see you guys a little later today. Yay! <laughs> the writing has been going great, and I've been doing a pile ton of research. Oh man. See, this is what I love about being an author and an artist. I can use both to get my ideas across. Hey! Hello, Dutchie! Which is super duper exciting. 
and I've been doing a lot of research on ancient Egypt because that definitely plays into KOE quite a bit because I do quite like Egyptian stuff. Also, I was a huge fan of the mummy. I always loved the Imhotep. And then I was very glad when an arcs and a moon got a flame and come up in the second one, but then broke his heart. And I was just like, you bitch, you freaking died for you. How could you? I, Imhotep's not evil, guys. I mean, yes, he does horrible things afterwards, and rightfully so. Um, in terms of the horror film. But in the second one, you know, like, he, he was willing to risk eternal damnation for a girl that he loved... And obviously loved very deeply, and she broke his heart. Like that last cry of a Noxuna Moon, you know, when he realizes she's not going to come back. Oh, man. Poor thing. And sad. The tears in his eyes and everything. And I really wanted him to come back in the third one, you know, like to take on the Dragon Emperor. I thought that would have been really funny with him and Rick just ribbing the crap out of each other, you know. <laughs> like, making references to the old films, because even tips learnt to... Um, read English and then at the end you know maybe he finds someone and falls in love and gets to live a life at that time I reckon that would just be really really beautiful and I wanted that for him it was right just doesn't help that his actor is just amazing and a really funny guy and the fact that he puts up with kids running up to him going bad mummy <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel about that if I played a villain in a thing they go bad mummy oh, so oh still yeah, go man. for a walk because it is very cold outside and I'll do like a little video again, like I did yesterday, taking you guys along just for the walk, you know, so you can see where we went and stuff. But I think drawing will be for tonight. We'll just have to see how I feel because I get steak tonight and I'll be really good in spinach and chips and life is good. Yeah, so I'll be cracking on to that, but I think chapter 3B is going to take me a while just because I want to make sure I get the information I want to come across to come across and show not tell which is something that you have to be really careful about when you're a author see with an artist you have to draw everything right so you can show people very e easily when you're writing something though and you're trying to tell it from a character's perspective showing it from their perspective rather than telling it from the perspective is very difficult but hey with practice you get there so i'm going to crack on to that and i think i'll chuck some clothes on and drink the rest of my freezing cold coffee and yeah, see if Nina wants to go for a walk still. Alright, back to work. <laughs> Welcome to the second day of lockdown. I pretend I'm lazy, but I'm really not, because I'm freaking writing and writing is hard. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Bumblebee didn't want to like accidentally crush it. Going for a late afternoon stroll with Nana, because she hasn't gone out today. And it's not as uh, crazy windy or anything, so it'll be a nice little brisk walk down at the park and, and come back up, so it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, second day of wearing the mask it doesn't actually feel as uh like breathless today if that makes sense like i feel like i can more realistically breathe it doesn't feel like it's going to fog up my glasses and it doesn't feel as hot the air inside the mask so that's good anyway nana's gonna grab her mask and then we're gonna be off and uh i'll do the cool little tracking thing i did yesterday and you guys can see what little adventure we went on so cool all right walkies and then back home to write some more and Maybe do some drawing tonight, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But like I said, sometimes I just end up getting obsessed with KOE and just wanting to keep working on it because, you know, 1300 reads, that's a lot. That's a lot of people paying attention to my stuff, so. Yeah, that's what I'll get up to tonight. All right. Hopefully time for walkies, so looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. I love going down to the Strand and just having a nice walk around, so. We're in a much warmer outfit today. Same hoodie though. <laughs> Also, a lot of you guys were making like kind of jokes to my mates who saw the video that my hair kind of blends into my hood and I can't help but agree with it, it works quite well. Alright, walkie time. to give her just chatting we almost got lost again because i have a missing sense of direction so that's great but now i'm going to recover for nine hours according to this information on my watch but i just love that i can literally check how i'm doing how my heart rate's going went up to 148 beats per minute which is really good for me i was in um the anaerobic stage or whatever it is you know where you start burning fat but also you know build your fitness which is great because that's what i need to start doing and I'm hopefully going to start wearing this when I ride Eric again uh, this summer. 
I gave him a break over winter just because his feet usually go to absolute dog crap because of the mud. And it rains. All the time. Like, yes, okay, we get some nice days, but it's just, it's cold and it's gross. And nine times out of ten, I'll be doing other things around the grazing rather than working with Eric. But Eric's the type of horse you can just jump on and go, which is what I wanted when I um, got him. He's an amazing horse. I cannot wait to ride him bitless again in the summer and just go for walks in the forest. Not riding anymore after what happened. I just... I've learned my lesson. Like I said, you get bikes in there, you get dogs, you get kids. And who's going to get the blame if a horse bowls a kid over that we didn't see? The rider and the horse are, rather than the kid who isn't aware that there are horses in the forest. Which is completely fair. So walking in Riverhead is the next stage forward. Eric and I can go for a trot when we're on the road or on the verge and we could maybe go for a trot and a canter in the arena but galloping and stuff like that I think will be served for you know maybe beach rides or going somewhere where we're not going to run into humans but even then I just yeah okay I like galloping and he likes galloping but it hurts my back causes me excruciating pain and I'm out for two days and I can't get out of bed and his feet just aren't up to it so I'm not going to be unfair on him and do that his brakes are absolutely incredible though, so maybe we could compete in endurance. We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, I have no idea how long this lockdown's gonna last. I might be making plans for something that's not gonna happen until next year. Which is totally fine, but yeah. It was a good walk. I'm about to drink water. Which, fun fact, is actually part of my DNA, so go figure. Anyone who has European DNA can trace themselves back to the Neanderthals. Which may or may not be why I can take a fall so well. I'm going to crack the joke that that's why I've got Neanderthal DNA and I like to take a heavy hit because my rib cage is more reinforced. Which is bullshit, but anyway, I'm just going to say it. I can take a hit if I need to, you know. Here's a piece that's good for something. Anyway, I'm going to get back to writing again, try and get 3B done if I can, and just... Slow my heart rate down, get back to normal, and then hopefully tonight I will be on the computer doing some drawing. We'll just see. I might just show you the start of the process of working on the Sonic one, getting the information together, and then just call it a day. Because I don't want to do too much. Just because, you know, I'm easing myself back into it. Here's the thing about artists, right? You don't realise it until your wrists start hurting. That drawing is actually extremely damaging to your wrists. So you got to take breaks. And there's me going, nah, I'm going to draw for six hours plus. Yeah, no, no, no. If I'm making this a business, I cannot risk my wrist. I'm already risking it by horse riding. So, I mean, smart. <laughs> I hope. See for your steam or common sense in your average Joe, I reckon. Anyway, I better get back to writing and just recovering from everything. And Dutchie didn't even notice I was gone, so that's good. Hi, buddy. He's doing great on his new biscuits, by the way. We, um... Or I forget, had to rush him to the vet um, two weeks ago now. It was longer than that? Well, four weeks, nearly a month. And uh, yeah, he had a urinary tract infection, which I was like, oh, I knew he did because he was, you know, peeing blood. And I was like, shit, that's not good. So he's now on the proper biscuits and I've noticed a massive change in him. Seriously, guys, going on a vet approved diet is actually better for your animals in the long run. So I'm glad I did it and I'm going to continue to do it. Because his face so soft. Happy boy. Anyway, back to writing, drink water, do my thing, and um, eat my dinner, and just see where the day takes us. All right, guys, catch you later tonight. Here we've got the random collage of what I will be working with with this Sonic commission. I wanted to make sure that I had a good reference for the pose, a good reference for what a typically medieval archer would be wearing, even though this is more based on fantasy, but I figured, you know, since Black Knight's more based on fantasy, that that would be smart. I've got reference, refer I can't talk. I've got references of the Sonic characters and the style of Black Knight to get an idea of how they design the armor and how it sits on the characters. And then I've also got a gender bent version of Rouge the Bat by someone. I don't know who it's by, but um, if I find out, I will definitely be crediting them as a thank you. It's just to get an idea of the proportions and how to take this and turn it into that style. Because I know I'm going to have to shorten proportions and stuff like that, or essentially put those kind of characteristics onto that. Which, in theory, shouldn't be that hard, but... Well, as you guys know, it can be a bit tricky to do stuff like this, but I reckon I'll get it done. I'm going to start on this tomorrow, hopefully. I apologize for this being such a boring vlog, but hey, you know, that's just how it is.
Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I apologize for it being a bit boring, but as I said, that's just what happens. Thank you so much for sticking with me, and thank you for 433 subs. If you guys like what I'm doing with the COVID diaries, even if they are a bit boring, please do not hesitate to jump below and join the madness and hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, and each and every one of you means so much. I do want to get back to gaming. I just need to work out why the heck Sony Vegas likes to unsync everything. I don't know yet how to edit audio and video together and then if I cut things out how to have them come together as a group and keep together. So if anyone could help me with that that would be absolutely fantastic because then I could get back to gaming and really start cracking on. Because anyway guys as I said thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 3 Revenge of the Sith <laughs> of the COVID diaries. Kakitiano!